Proclaim your nationality today. Nationality is the order of the day. If you do nothing else, proclaim your nationality today. What's your guest today. My guest is Grant Sheik Loveville of the Moore Science Temple of America as a Body Politic. We are not Convention, convention Week. Welcome, Grant Sheik. Islam. Praise Allah. All praise be to Allah, the Lord, Governor, Cherish, and Sustain, and Ruler of the World. Islam. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today, Grant Sheik. Today, we're going to be bringing to you uh, Moorish News, and we're going to discuss uh, Moorish sovereignty versus Moorish um, sovereignty versus uh, sovereign citizens. That's what we're going to be discussing today. We have a lot uh, going on here in North America, and uh, we want to make sure everybody get it straight. Moorish sovereignty versus um, sovereign citizens. To open up the show today, I'd like to read from our Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, uh, divinely prepared by the noble prophet uh, Ju Ali. Chapter 25, A Holy Covenant of the Asiatic Nation. We are the children of one father, provided for by his care, and the breast of one mother has given us suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brother, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that bindeth you to love and unity. And prefer not a stranger before thine own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole race and his care be continued to you all in your love. To each other. Thank you so much. Um, I'd like to thank you all for joining us and thank my team because there has to be teamwork in everything that we do and this is why unity is so important. Um, I'd like to thank my guest Sheik Loveville for coming here and I'd like to read something also from the Holy Bible, King James Version, because we are in fact uh, a part of the whole and um, I'm going to be reading from Proverbs 6, chapter 6, verse. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. Now we're talking about an ant, okay? How long will you slumber, O oh sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man. Father, have mercy on us today. We don't need that need like an armed man. Grand Sheik, I want to um, have you read from the Quran, please. Holy Quran. The Holy Quran Muhammad. of Muhammad. Praise yes. Allah. All praise is due to Allah, Lord, Governor, Cherish, and Sustain, the Ruler of the World. We give a hail and honors to all true and divine prophets, Yeshua. 
So I'm calling Jesus, Muhammad, Buddha, Confucius, Drew Ali. Also give a hell high honors to Marcus Mosias Garvey, the forerunner, also being the harbinger. We're reading today from the pilgrimage, Hajj. This is Surah 22, uh, verse 5. O people, if you are in doubt about the raising, then surely we created you from dust, then from a small seed, then from a clot, then from a lump of flesh, complete in make and incomplete, that we make, may make clear to you. And we cause what we please to say, stay in the wombs till an appointed time. Then we bring you forth as babies, then that you may attain your maturity. And of you is he who is created, who is caused to die. And of you is he who is brought back to the worst part of life, so that after having knowledge, he does not know anything. And you see the earth's sterile land, but when we send down on it the water, it <coughs> stirs and swells and brings forth every kind of beautiful herbage. Thank you so much for that, uh, Grand Sheik. For those of you who are just joining us, I am your host, Assistant Grand Sheik, is to the Grand Sheik of the Morris Science Temple of America. My guest is Grand Sheik LaVille of the Morris Science Temple of, of America, as a body politic. And we are talking about <coughs> Moorish News. This is Moorish News. And we're discussing Moorish sovereignty versus sovereign citizens. And understand, we are sovereign uh, to the land, and this is what makes us have that Moorish sovereignty. Understand this document here that was filed by Noble Jew Ali, August 1st, 1928 at 2.52 p.m., which is held in Cook County Recorder Deeds Office. This document is, in fact, what has made us have sovereignty to this land. And what we're gonna talk about today is how that sovereignty uh, to this land exists and of, in fact, what was it that caused Noble Jewali to file this document? First of all, coming from Havana, Cuba, and this is the reason why we're celebrating our 89th convention. More sovereignty versus sovereign citizen and introduction to the Moorish, um, Moorish Americans, um, also the Moorish American Muslims, and the Moorish Science Temple of America as a body politic. Who are the Moors? And who is Prophet Noble Jew Ali? What is the Moorish Science Temple of America? These are some of the things we're going to be discussing, and the Grand Sheik uh, Laville is going to be going into. What are the birthrights of the Moorish Americans, etc.? And the Law of Nations and the Peace and Friendship Treaty between Morocco and the United States, 1836, which in fact still stands to this day. Creation of the Moorish Trust, body politic in 1928. We're gonna go into that creation and how it came about. We're gonna talk a little bit about Moorish civics with the Illinois court systems. Within Grand Sheik, Moorish civics within the Illinois court systems. We're gonna also be covering that subject briefly. Now, Grand Sheik, let's go into who are the Moors. We understand the Moorish Americans are the descendants of Moroccans born here in America. Indeed, we are Moors. Can you go into that briefly, Grand Sheik, please? Islam, according to all true and divine records, according to the human race, there is no such thing as Negroes, colored folks, black people, Ethiopians. When we talk about the secret or the great Masonic secret, what our people need to understand is that you, you who refer to yourself as so-called black, Negro, colored, African-Americans, cone, shine, Afro-American, whatever you decide to call yourself next week, you are the big secret, you are the great secret, you are the hub that everything is connected to. The Moors are those who are indigenous to this land. Now, we were given this information in the public school system about the Indian being, or the Native American. And that cherry tree line, George Washington. Well, this is all part of the mythos. Now, that's not to say that there were not some, some of them did resemble and have the reddish skin and the long stringy hair. But for the most part, most of the people that were here in this land looked just like you and I, even darker skin. And a lot of people that identify with being so-called Negroes, colored folks, black people, 
Ethiopians, they will tell you in two seconds, oh, my grandmother was Cherokee or Blackfoot. Absolutely. Or, and these are the same people, but they were not identified as Negroes, Blacks, and colored. So that's why there was a cutoff. And you see, when you go like, to go into like a storyline like Roots, you'll see where they took the, 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 the children and they separated them from their parents. So the traditions and the thoughts of the, the, the true history was not passed down. So this is the situation you had the uh, Kunta Kente to Toby uh, syndrome. And the whole story was built on trying to get this young man to denounce his true name, take on another name, just like that situation with They Live, how this man nearly beat his friend to death to get him just to see the truth. And after beating him nearly to death, I'm sure they both had to go to the emergency room once he put the glasses on and he discovered this whole new different world and now he's online and he can't hardly function because of the truth which has him so caught up and you're talking about trying to put this information into the heads of millions and millions and well, millions of people knowing that the Chicago public school system mm -hmm. is not going to assist what can you say and what do you say, Grand Sheik, to a nation of people now that has on every level obtained well, wealth from entertainment, sports, to you name it. I say it. that if you, you know, on the international realm, it's just like a WWF match. It's all fakery, it's set up. And behind the scenes, what you have is a situation where you have a nation of people that are supposed to represent, and we're gonna get into this later on, the sovereign aspect of the other part of the peace and friendship tre treaty between the U.S. and Morocco. So okay, well, not since the parties represent, there has to be parties representative on both sides. We have seen the United States being represented properly, but what about the Moors? There has to be, both sides have to be represented properly. We have properly to have balance in this situation. With regards to how things are supposed to work within the nations of the earth. So those who are considered as Negroes, black people, colored folks, um, they are not truly being received and respected as a nation of people. It well, doesn't matter how much money you have, it doesn't matter how much you acquire, money does not make the man. It is free national standards and power that makes a man in the nation. We saw a situation where uh, Brother Bill Cosby accepted to and he is well, well, mega star, right? And he's most worth, noteworthy for having plenty of finance. Yes, he is. And so all he wanted to do was he purchase was denied, a team. No, he wanted to purchase a media outlet. A media so outlet, which correctly. is what's needed for our people so greatly. And this man, but not he was only denied. Did he lose, and, and this is and, and because so forget the fact that he had attained such a high status where he's a household name. The fact is that he had reached a level where he could, a ceiling, where he could not go past that because we're talking about the truthful identity and those who are the gatekeepers with regards to putting certain information out. Going back to the world they stage again. They put that 1857 Dred Scott situation on this brother's head, Brother Bill Cosby. And before Brother Dick Gregory left here, he mentioned that uh, that man, as wealthy and rich as he is, he, they took his son from him. Dick Gregory was not afraid to mention it. They took his son. We have a lot of great people out here that is not afraid to stand up and speak the truth. Our sister, brother, may he rest in peace, a shade to Dick Gregory, because he spoke truth fearlessly. And also our sister, uh, the ISIS paper, uh, Dr. Cress Welsing, she also spoke truth, the keys to the colors. She talked about how the fears of this white supremacy is so petrified. They are so petrified of the fact that we are who we are, that they will do anything to keep the truth and to block us, but not to step away from the fact that even so, Bill Cosby's name was drugged through the mud, and no one, as honorable as this man is, stood up. Well, I'm not gonna say no one. He did have people to stand up. The sister from the show, she stood up, and a lot of people felt him, but, because we are all Moors, even though we are in our respective positions of wealth, 
We are supposed to come to one another's rescue because that Holy Covenant said, if your brother is in trouble, assist him. So everyone out there in Hollywood that knows that Bill Cosby is a great man, he's a man of honor, he's a man standing up for, for truth, the brother should have had a whole lot of support in assisting uh, Dick well, Gregory. Well, let's get back to the secret, the big Bill secret. Bill Cosby, Dick Gregory, Most of our people in peace. who are he notables. lost his son. Hold on, let's get back to the subject matter, Sheikas. The subject matter. Let's the subject matter goes subject back matter. to the secret that our people are being, uh, the hit note, the notion that our people are not Moors or they don't know that they're Moors. Those people that are famous, most of these people are aware of the fact that we are Moors. Oh, okay? yeah. Yeah, your Jesse exactly. Jackson, your Farrakhan's. Well, they made your, the decision. Uh, Al Sharpton's. Well, they do say so called people black. People that now. are notable. Give them credit. Give credit people who, are, who have. But we need you to come with the truth. Are to of the note people now. have this information. Yes, and they do. And this is an information that is known by certain adepts within the realm of Freemasonry. So they are aware of the true identity of us as a people. And this is also part of the reason why they wear the feds in secrecy, you know, the Shriners, and what have you. Well, National Treasures of these is people, a movie. Hold on, let me, fin let me get through the point. Many right of ahead. these people, these Europeans, are sitting in our, position, our seats as proxy, wearing feds with rhinestones on it. And the reason why they're able to wear that feds is because they've been given certain secrets to hold as proxy but only as long as we maintain a certain ignorance. But now we are coming out of a long slumbering sleep. So this is why the identity becomes a, so much of an issue. But you were going back to the, let's get back to the point. Okay, There's, who, who is, is Noble Jew Ali? Jew Ali? Because Islam. right now we understand the prophet Noble Jew Ali is the founder of the Morris Science Temple of America as a body politic and as such is one of the founding fathers, okay? Let's understand who the real founding fathers are and let's give them their credit, That's okay? Smart. Because Marcus Garvey being another founding father of our Moorish nation. He's and we our, say founding father as I open up the floor to the Grand Sheik to express smart. founding father because we do understand that we do have other founding fathers but you can only be a founding father of your nation, you understand, and we understand. Islam. How to use that term. The Prophet Noble Ali, the love thought made manifest is the day star from on high who was brought to teach us the truth about our nationality and birthrights also to what restore. What makes him a founding father? Which well, the fact, that, that. the fact that you have, we had to really literally be put back on the map. As Moorish Americans, this is a term that does not exist until the advent of the Prophet Noble Ali. So, this is part of the reason why the Prophet Noble Ali made statements like it is that it is with him being at the head, I'm paraphrasing, that we will be recognized. And he is also putting in work. He is also still issuing charters. So and that is a charter. When you and look up proof. properly what it is and then according to research, study, and investigation, you will see that only he has the authority to issue charters. And it would have to be something that was signed by him. So basically, the Prophet Noble Drali is, he represents uh, the sovereign aspect of our nation. And he was also recognized as the Islamic prince at the, hand of the, at the Pan American Conference in Havana, Cuba, where he addressed the assemblage of the peoples as and presenting the true and divine records according to all true and divine records that there is no negro colored folks black people according to the human race and the fact that the title to it the vast estate had been claimed and the only thing that makes well not the only thing but one of the things that makes a government solvent as well as sovereign is having access to the land so we have to understand part of the provisions that were left for us within the birthrights is having access, access to the land. To the land. So that is a that certificate. Of, well, see, we this have to understand title. properly what that is. That is a certificate of title to our title Absolutely. deed, which is the found. The title deed is in within, Chapter 47. Exactly. And both of these together 47. is what gives us title to the land. And this is what makes us have the sovereignty that we possess as a nation of people which is what was exercised long before any of us was born.
1928. This is the reason this man was sent, our holy and divine prophet, with this information. One this is what reasons. this is one of the greatest reasons he was sent. This is the reason I joined the Morris Science Temple of America. This is the birthright. This is well, the Islam, vast let's, estate let's, let's be clear, that was given to the Moors. Us, because when you joined, you were not aware of the fact. Well, that I was that not aware existed. of this. So of course, let us when be I clear. Say, but it was the holy this is zeal. Pride. This is the this holy. Is the pride it was holy that zeal, that zeal that caused you to join the Morris Science Temple and of America and cling to the principles, because this here is part of the nation pride. That represents a tangible knowledge. asset to what has been left and entrusted to us as a as nation. As a vast of estate, people. absolutely. So, so this is, what is the Morris Science Temple of America? What is the Morris Science Temple of America? And according to the rules and usages of such the Morris, Morris Science, Science Temple, Temple of America, America is a body this is politic a that religious was set up, corporate. A religious corporate body, body politic, politic set up set up as, as a to constitutional operate. theocratic monarchy for the organization and nationalization of the Moorish people. In addition Islam. to that, uh, Grand Sheik, you can also um, discuss what else the Moorish Science Temple of America does because it nationalizes our people. If you refer to yourself as Negro, black, colored, or African American, the Moorish Science Temple of America has been set up to return you your nationality, which is in fact Moorish American Muslim. We refer Moorish to Americans ourselves as well. Moorish American. We are Moorish Muslims here in North America, and make no mistake, this is the uh, present Moroccan Empire. We want to talk about now, Grand Sheik, what are the birthrights of the Moorish Americans, because you have, not only did the Prophet come to return us our uh, vast estate, our vast estate, which is, includes other um, Muslims, and I'll be reading their names before the show is over. We also well, was returning our pertain, birthrights. The birthrights, Islam, Islam, Sheikahs. The birthrights pertain to access in the land. Free access to the land the, and all of its uses and resources as a matter of right by virtue of being Moorish as well as being indigenous to the Americas. Well, let's be clear, when we deal with the tangible assets, the Constitution for the United States of America makes a reference to inalienable rights. So those correspond to rights that cannot be transferred, bought, or sold away. Okay. And this is part of the reason why the Prophet Noble Jirali made a reference to the Constitution for the United States of America being one of the greatest documents of all time because the Constitution was created to be a barrier to government. It was set up to be a permissive document to corporations and entities that had been receiving permission. So we have to understand like one of the individuals that they claim is a founding father, George Washington, he was actually listed on the record as paying tribute to the Sultan of Ben Abdullah at the at that time, Sultan of Ben Abdullah. So it's possible. Uh, is it possible to pay tribute and be a founding father? Well, th what I'm saying is there was, it would be impossible for him to be a founding father proper because he comes from Europe or England. That makes British a proper. lot of sense. A heavenly lot of sense. So, um, so what? What? I mean, how does being Moorish give you access to this land? Well, you know, being indigenous means that you come with the land. Okay, so, so there's a, there, there's why a covenant. Why are so many of the people poor? I'm sure it's they, a legacy, they're probably wondering. It's a birthright. Well, it become, see, this is why how you access the birthrights through having a proper identity that you are who you are. Because, see, when we transferred rights to property, and we didn't, that wasn't the way we dealt with things as far as how. Real the mortgage schemes that's going on here in there North America. There was no mortgages. There that's was no, a whole new different scheme. The whole totally, the, the concept of land usage is totally different with regards to how we were interfaced with the earth. This is part of the reason why when they came over here, there were no boundaries set up for parcels of land per se. You understand and that? Yet, it's you like had they have territories, tricked us and we but, gave them permission through that peace and friendship treaty to come in and now here we are 
uh, on the end paying you for a mortgage well, for 30 years we fell when we asleep. know our signature we fell asleep. pays for the it, property it, it up says front. in our lesson, it says due yes, to the sin and disobedience. Asleep. And not and strand at the strange gods of Europe. Exactly. So, so we fell asleep. So we're paying covenant. today for that. Okay, so now we've come of age, and we understand in this administration, Smart. and we're before the courts, I think it's only fair that the people of the world know from the prisoner to the president, all of them across the board, that we are of age, and we understand, and we're here to receive our land back. And this is, you, I welcome all the scholars, wherever you are, who are whoever you are, please well, come out. And take this document, if you are a real estate attorney, and do your diligence well, and realize it, that this is, in fact, what it is. It is what it is. It's now, what, now it's, it's, it's not. It's so. It's more so to serve notice to the world that we we have returned have access exactly, and we're back, and we have a right to the usage of the land that's been left here, and that's utilized for everybody. Because see, by virtue of citizenship. People have access to the land, to the government, and things of that nature. But the game but that's being played to today is when we go into the courts, we're being referred to as sovereign uh, citizens, and we need to dispel that myth. And we need to make everyone, everyone in the world, all the Moors, all of the uh, truth seekers need to understand there's a difference between Moorish sovereignty and sovereign citizens. Now, can you go into that myth briefly? Because we need to dispel that myth now in the court systems and wherever people are thinking and mixing this up because right. what it causes is open seasons on the true citizens of this All land, right. the Moorish sovereignty Let's deal with should practical be dealt with. Let's deal with practicality, practicality first. Thank you the first much. of all, Moors as a nation, we have right to sovereignty and autonomy just like any other nation. Without discrimination, religious exactly, discrimination. Exactly, exactly. So what has occurred is uh, various tactics, coin tail pro, whatever, have attempted to muddy discriminate up the against issues us through the media with regards to uh, individuals that have been referred to as sovereign citizens, and these are a lot of these p individuals, or most of them, uh, come from a European descent. And this is a rebellious attitude towards law and order. So they have taken the notion that uh, they'll use the Constitution or that the Constitution Does gives not them apply to them? license. No, that the Constitution gives them license to be sovereigns or there is an ideology that the Constitution acknowledges so-called free white persons as sovereign individuals. And we're sovereignty coming with the land, but, and that's oh, a total different thing. Let me explain. We represent the people who originally gave them the authorization to operate as and a now, government, as so a So we let them in on our land, and government. now they're turned on us, calling us sovereign well, citizens. Well, no, no, see, here's These the thing. These are the same people that we let in. Here, here's the thing. The, the trick has been utilized as a, a tool of propaganda. This is why the prophet spoke about having our media and destroying the annual avalanche, avalanche of, of lies. lies. Well, because let's talk about the, the law of nations and the peace and friendship treaty because that's gonna tie into it between Morocco and the United States of 13, pardon me, of 1836. Because that Morocco treaty of 1836, that peace and friendship treaty still stands between Morocco and the United States of America. And we are here per our ancestors. We are Moroccans, okay? Descendants, Descendants of, of Moroccans. Moroccans. So that makes us Moroccans. We are born in America. So how dare you call us sovereign citizens when we come with the land and we have sovereignty. sovereignty. So this needs to be explained to the courts here in North America so that they can respect the Moors, the true people which are indigenous to this land, which gave them permission. The Peace and Friendship Treaty between Morocco and the United States of 1836 still being enforced and the rights of indigenous people who are the parties to the still existing contract. The two, between the two nations, the treaty. Let's talk about that treaty, Grand Sheik. 
Well, Islam, as I stated Creation before. Creation of the Moorish Trust and body politic in 1928 we'll be discussing next. Let's talk about that treaty briefly, please. As I stated before, the Peace and Friendship Treaty is what gave permission to the European uh, corporations that were set up to do business. They Brit, were never given, British, they were not Brit given, French, they German, were not given permission Irish. to, they were not given permission to have any access to land or land grants, okay? So, so how is it we in have 2017, clear, they have so much land and we're being denied our rights to our property here in the present Moroccan Empire? And the treaty, because, is the treaty still being because acknowledged? Accor because according to the law of nations, it is a responsible responsibility for each and every nation to represent and worship under their own vine and fig tree. There are so many of our people that are sleeping and that are given aid and abets, abe abeyance to those who have been smiling their faces and stabbing them in the backs for all intents and purposes. It becomes an issue, a suffrage issue, where you have our people that have been giving uh, their um, support and their undying loyalty to parties like the Democratic Party, in some cases the Republican Party. Uh, the Democratic Party is one of the worst examples of how our people have given to this party and kowtowed to them in every way. And in every turn, the people that are voted into office ignore the issues, the core issues, that addresses and affects the so-called Negroes, colored folks, black people. And <clears throat> so what occurs is you have this great big secret that's being held in abeyance and the rest of the world are to believe that we are operating and we are Moors, but yet the infrastructure, when you look at it, nothing could be further from the truth because most of the people have fallen away from the truth as far as who they are and where they come from, and no support is being given to the true government that represents the Moors and who they truly are because the idea is that, oh, those are not real Moors, that's just some Masonic group. You know, they're hiding out somewhere, they're not out and amongst the affairs of men. They're not taking their place amongst the affairs of men. Listen, when we were in control and we ruled and we were selling seven seas of the world and feeding the world, we had the ability to affect things and mm -hmm. to, uh, if, in other words, if certain, if you didn't pay taxes, then you didn't eat. You see, so. A lot of what we're going through is a result of karmic activity what results to us straying after strange gods who we knew nothing of. So we all didn't go to sleep at the same time. So we're all not going to wake up at the same time. So it becomes an issue in order for us to get back to our more sovereignty. Our people have to become aware of what it actually is and where it actually lies and what I it agree, represents for which us. Brings us so to more let me let me go into within. something so that I can explain where we actually find sovereignty within our literature, so that people can be clear Please for once and that, for all. Because, uh, this is the divine necessary. instructions from the Holy Prophet, the Holy Quran, the Moor Science Temple of America. This is chapter twenty nine, magistrate and subject. Now check this out. This is to refute all and disclaim all of the naysayers and the propaganda. And it states, O thou, the favorite of heaven, whom the sons of men, thy equals, have agreed to raise to sovereign power and set as a ruler over themselves, consider the ends and the importance of their trust far more than the dignity and height of thy station. And when you go into our keys, what's the name of our ruler? Salt Key 34, Sultan. So we have to understand that the Prophet Nubu Ali, part of the legacy and the will and testament of the Prophet Nubu Ali is for us to stand up and take that position amongst the affairs of man and also assume the position as the Moors on that side of the treaty. Islam, Islam, Islam. I want to say thank you so much for that Grand Sheikh and I wish it could stop and um, cease and desist from referring to us as sovereign citizens. It is a disrespect 
to us as a nation of people. It is a dishonor to our ancestors, and it, it should not uh, take place, and we are working on that as an administrative um, one of the jobs of our administration is to take it as far as we need to take it so it could be corrected in the court systems throughout the state first and then take it uh, to the UN, which is where things are discussed when it comes to religious discrimination to a nation of well, people. Well, it could be the international realm. It, it could be the be organization the of realm. American states. It, it has could to be the United there. Nations, but whatever realm is going to be international. It Islam. has to be international because this has to cease and desist. Now, more civics within the Illinois court system is where we are today. People need to understand and, and realize that we are the people, and the people have spoken. It is time to free the people. It is time to free the resources of the people so that we can veer via get back to the trade and transportation, which is why the River Nile was dredged in the beginning. We are sending a lifeline out to all of our Moorish kindred that has been spoken of in chapter 48. Uh, in chapter because 45. 40, 45 uh, can you bring that up, please? Because now is the time for all of our people uh, in the entertainment realm, all of the rich and wealthy that refer to themselves by names that allude to slavery, such as Negro, black, color, African American. It's okay if you didn't know. It's okay if you are rejecting. It's okay if you don't believe. What's time now is to save the babies. It is time to save the babies. The it's divine, time to look at the world today. Islam, the divine you, instructions you, uh, from the Holy Prophet. This is chapter 45. The can divine. Can you call out to the names of the people that we're reaching out in the spirit of love for? Because now it's the time to stand and to bring forth the spirit of truth upon the earth. Islam. The <clears throat> While he's working on that, I just want to say to all of our entertainers, I've never been one to point a finger because, as you know, when you point a finger, you have three pointing back at you. So I have practiced or looked into the mirror. I like to say to all of you out there who have been blessed with prosperity, give thanks because you don't know what's going to be going on tomorrow. Give thanks because your people have found it in their hearts to uplift you and put you up front. And remember, if it's one thing I can say, remember from whence you came. Because we all were not born with silver spoons in our mouth. And now it's time for the, the famous, the wealthy, to support the youth, support the brother that's out there fighting. Brother, uh, Gabri uh, what is that Shikis. young brother? That's out, I understand that already. I just want to be clear. We have brothers standing up in sports. We have brothers standing up in music. We have brothers that are standing up in the, on the chemistry level, fighting to tell our people that they're putting things in the water. It's we on. need to unite and take a stand so that we can bring forth to our people what they need, which is food. And as you know, food can come in many forms. I'd it's like on. to say thank you, Islam brother, to all of the people out there in TV land that are standing up in the medical fields and the social media fields, all of our youth that has awakened, and, our, and, and those so-called leaders, which I don't have to call your names, you know who you are. It is time to give the nations of the earth the truth. Yes, we need to be honest and truthful with ourselves because at the end of the day, when the water rises and when that fire comes, we are all going to be running to safety, and only the great honorable forces that have put us in this position to save ourselves is going to be the only one we can call on. Call him Jehovah, call Sh him Sh Yahweh, Sh call him Allah, call him what you'd like, but call him. Yes, sir. We were supposed to be dealing with the Illinois court system. Yes. Well, let's talk about it, brother. Oh, because th that's, and, that's the um, thing so that has to be done. So the constitutional principles that the people need and understand, and this is why the prophet said that the Constitution is one of the greatest documents of all time. What's going to protect the people within the Illinois court system is understanding the Constitution and understanding their status as it relates to how to operate yes, within the court yes, system. Yes, yes, of course it's going to save them. And also putting uh, the judge judicial system the, on the, notice. The crooked system, and right, keep Grand Sheik? Islam, and understanding the Because we're in the, the laws, system, and we understand you can walk into the system, and the, judicial, and the judges will call you what? Islam, walking this in. is why the prophet Sovereign. said law governs all yes, events. Yes, it does. So we're we have aware to of that. understand what law governs all events. What law? Tell the people time, what law governs it, The law Grand that Sheik. governs this tell event the, is the United States Constitution because the Constitution puts them on notice and gives them restrictions. The Constitution was put in place yes, it to does. put restrictions How much restriction on has it government. put on them today? Well, the lack of Whereas knowledge, our policy, the lack our of knowledge of our people has back. allowed 
the people who have been crooks and who have not been upholding the oaths of office of the Constitution to run, run rampant. Explain so to the people the trust has what been violated the because 19th ruling is, Grand Sheik, while you're on it. Explain to them what the courts have done to the 19th ruling as we have been fighting. Because our people don't know who we are. They don't know that we're in those courts battling. They don't know it's an axe fight. Explain to them the ruling, Grand Sheik, please. Let the people know how much we need them and let them know the ruling that was handed down on the 19th of September that broke the Roman seal. Even though they say, you people are who you are, but we're denying you everything. Please give it to the people, Grand Sheik. Well, we give it to the people just like this. It's an understanding the fact that you have people that have taken an oath to uphold the Constitution. Yes, According sir. to the laws of nation, it is your responsibility as a nation to step up to the plate and make sure you receive your just due. You can't de depend on some foreigners to give you what's your just due. Now, what has when the you foreigners are, do? Hold what on. did the foreigners do, when Grand you, Sheik, on the 19th ruling? Explain to the people. Well, Let what the you have know. is a, you have a situation where you have statutory rulings. See, you have the Constitution on one hand, and you have statutes on the other hand. Okay. On one hand, you have a situation where they have taken an oath to uphold the Constitution. And but are the they, Constitution is not being utilized. Are they utilized. upholding the Constitution, The Constitution Grand is Chief. not being upheld. Are the courts, the of courts this are not upholding the Constitution you. for the United they States of America. They are not upholding the Constitution. What they're doing is they're upholding statutes. They're upholding corporate charters yes, that have are. nothing to yes, do with the oath of office that they took to uphold. This is why you don't have any remedies coming from these courts because they are beholden to the statutes. They took an oath to uphold the Constitution, but they're not being beholden to that Constitution. Now, how are you going to fight a government that's holding up statues? And, and then when you come in to fight, they're telling you to get an attorney. Well, they're not which government. Is going to be an if they're not to them. upholding those statutes, they're not government. And there has to be accountability okay, tell where the there's responsibility. What do so, you do? No, man knows not by being told. What you have to do is you have to research, Inform study, and investigate. Research, study, and investigate and understand who you are and the fact that when the Constitution makes a reference to the people, it is you that it's referring to. And so you have to step up and you have to do your part to represent and to give support to the true government. Because if you don't, you're going to continue to receive more of the same. What is the ruling? What is the ruling when the uh, principles, when the Constitution has been put on the back burner and you have statues? What did the statute say to the Moors, this administration, on the 19th? What did the ruling say, Grand Sheik? The statutes and the rulings are Opinion, in, order. Well, the statutes ruling, and the ruling. Opinion, the, order first of all, down. let us understand that the opinion is just that. It's someone's it's opinion. opinion. Absolutely. So the order has to be based on the facts. What had to be done is we had to put in the final order for that case and had to put the court on notice and make sure that the court is aware of whose court it actually is because it's, because it's the people's court. Absolutely. It's the people that give the Absolutely. authorization to these public that. officials to yes, do what they do in accordance to yes. the oath of office that they took to uphold the Constitution, which is why it's the one is the greatest documents of all time. But so. if you are not aware of the power and authority that it gives you, then Red it sheep. has no so effect or authority at all. Order and opinion was denied. We were denied because of the policies. So the foreign no, ruling there, had to go in. No, that is incorrect, Sheik. The is, foreign there is ruling no, had to go There in. was no denial. There was a presentation of the court's opinion. Was there was opinion. no denial because well, the, the court opinion? was not in authority to deny anything because the Constitution gives the... Absolutely. It, the, it forbids the state to have the power to have any effect on the obligation of contracts. What we're talking about is a contract between indigenous people that cannot be affected by statutes that receives its authority from the very same people that gave it authority in the first place to operate. So in other words, without the support of our nation of people, there is no way we can move forward because of the statues that are being put up in front of the Constitution, which is illegal and is very unlawful. So therefore, we were forced to put forth a foreign judgment. And I'd just like to say, 
and give thanks to everyone that's out there seeking truth, that don't have an inkling of a clue that this body, who is fighting for you in the courts? This particular body is fighting for you. This administration is standing up in a court here in Illinois that is using statues, yes, statues, when the Constitution has been put here, which is one of the greatest documents of all time. And the Prophet Noble Jew Ali also stated that. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. And I'd like to say to the Grand Sheik, thank you for being strong. I'd like to say to all the strong men and women out there, thank you for creating strong babies so that we can exist. Without you and your support, nothing can be done. Because understand, the Morris Science Temple of America had a convention in 1928. And what made that a convention great was that Moors from all of the states that had temple came together under one roof to pay homage in Mecca, AKA Chicago, Illinois, which is where our Mecca is, which is where our Hajj will begin. So we are planning 2018 Moorish Science Temple of America convention because this is the time. We're calling on all the delegates to come from all the different states that we have, that's been mentioned also in chapter 45. Uh, we are asking for all the Moors here in the metropolitan Chicago area and all the states, wherever you are and whoever you are, please contact us. Contact us, moorishhomeoffice at gmail.com, moorishlawservices at gmail.com. Don't wait until it's too late because now is the time to unite. And to all of our brothers and sisters that are taking a stand, whoever you are, whatever you are, may the forces of the ancestors be with you. A shade to all of our leaders. I'm talking about going all the way back uh, as far as you can remember into Egypt because we have to come from somewhere. Things don't manifest from nothing. We say our man all the time, not knowing that I'm in Ra. Islam, the Sheikh is, is the sh Islam, quite Islam. honestly, to be quite honest with the people, yes. you are putting it very lightly because the divine warning was issued. And if the nations of the world don't assist us in what we're doing, then the wrath is going to come. And the worst is yet to come. Well, we've you're talking about earthquakes, out, you're you know, talking about diseases, to Turkey, to you're India, talking about to floods, etc. So, uh, uh, so if the people so if the people want to be hard headed, if the uh, people want to be stiff necked, wherever you are, starting with need, our own now, people, uh, we if can, you we need the assistance want to continue of other nations, if you want to continue to not to not listen because our people have a tendency to be stiff necked and hard headed, you have a lot of our people that are. Most of our people who are supposed to be supportive of this administration, they are doing things backwards. You know, they're holding well, the convention during September instead of October. So if you want to continue to not be compliant with the laws and you want to continue to be stiff-necked and hard-headed, then time is going to truly tell. Yeah, we want to send some love out there to our Moorish families that are having conventions that did hear the truth, and they are having conventions in this month. Um, and this is the month to have the convention in as well. And when this goes out in the air, I'm sure it'll be down the line in November sometime. But for those Facebook fans, those YouTube fans, where we will be viewing this in the same day, then I want to send love out to our Moorish American Muslim family that's celebrating our Prophet Noble Jew Ali. Smart. We are supposed to be one family because we are one family. And my heart of love go out to all of those Moors celebrating the true uh, convention, which is October the 15th to the 20th. I love you all with a love that will never die. We are constantly out here uplifting our people in every way that we can, letting them know you are a part of a royal family of Moors. You are Moorish Muslims, and you have a great duty to help uplift fallen humanity. Let no one tell you different. Grab a child, put your arms around them, love them, tell them they are great. Don't forget to love yourself. Look in that mirror and realize that you're here to do a great job. And for all of our great people out there who have been blessed early uh, in all the fields of entertainment, food, medical industries, uh, for all of you out there that are uh, you know, writing, for all you have the media on your side, for all of the chemists out there, for all of our students out there that's preparing to come out here, uplift the world, 
please proclaim your nationality. Please take the time out to go to a library, Google some information, and know that something is going wrong in this planet. The water is coming. The fire is already here. Yeah, they call it forced fires, but you remember Sodom and Gomorrah. Don't forget, the truth don't change. It's not going to pass away. We are paying every day. For what? For what? Look in the mirror and realize that hell is a state of mind, just like heaven. And you can't get away from this. There's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. So that's love. We only got a day. I love you all with a love that will never die. Love yourselves. And remember, we are one. A lot of people came to do it. I can imagine Harriet Tubman journey. You understand a woman called Moses carrying those people back and forth. I can only imagine what their sister have to do. And look, I don't want to have to fight my brothers and sisters to put those glasses on so they can see and we can live as a nation of people. Look so that you can realize and resurrect. Check and that understand. movie out. They Live. That's a good movie. Please check out They Live. Please Keith look at David, the, um, Roddy Rod Piper. Uh, please look at um, the uh, Black Knight. Look at, uh, now Rob, we do have Mark, a, uh, Martin, Martin Lawrence. Lawrence and the Black yeah. Knight. Look at Robin Hood, you know. Uh, Prince the of Moore, Thieves with uh, Morgan Prince Freeman. And Morgan Freeman. Yeah, Morgan and please Prince. Uh, look at um, the, the National Treasure, one and two, because they talk about those wealth. Who do you think your forefathers are, are in Egypt? What do you think that went, that treasures? You can circulate those treasures to any state, any island, any country you want. But at the end of the day, we are the, DNA, the heirs the DNA to that the true treasure. trust. DNA. And we are the it's ones the that got that DNA. And it's in the DNA. And I want to give thanks to our conscious rappers out there that know the truth. Don't forget, truth can come in any form. You understand? And even our brothers and sisters that's in those churches, we love you more, you understand? And when you wake up, because a lot of our moors are waking up every day, come on home. Come on home to your nationality because you have your own. Come on home to this body politic because we still have to put our schools up, our churches up. And we have the power to have our own NBA, MBA, and any other thing we want because we are the power that flows. We make it go. I want to say a shade to our sister, uh, Dr. Frances Cress Wilson, because I need all of our children to read uh, that book that that sister wrote. Okay, Keys to the Color, the ISIS paper. Okay, you can start right there. And say to Dick Gregory, look at all that man tapes so he can help wake you up, because we don't have too many people that's putting out that good truth. But we do know for sure. No, I'm not Saudi Arabian American. I'm not Saudi Arabian American. But I know a lot of Jordanian.